All right, everyone, welcome to another Hitman 2 video. This is the Einerson Inception. This is an ICA facility escalation. And uh, we're just going to complete it for completeness sake, despite it being, you know, a starter escalation, a pretty simple one. It is on the test map, the uh, training map, I, I should say. So we skip the intro and just run over here. And uh, we could choke him out, or we could just do this. We shoot him in the, in the foot. Knock him out. Take his clothes. It's a little faster than choking him out. And he's not a witness because when NPCs are falling, they can't report crimes or, or they're temporarily blind. Anyway, we head up here. Crouch here. Get the knife. Head back down. And yes, he did notice a crime was committed, but he didn't know it was you. And since he's knocked out, he can't really do anything. <laughs> so, there's that. So here's our target. There's a frag extinguisher right next to him. You can just wait until he turns around, or you can get him right away if you're quick enough. And you got to be wa uh, careful. Be watchful of those guys there. Sometimes they investigate the knife throw. So we take his clothes, because we need his disguise. And throw this at him. And uh, it's fine. No one's coming, but for security's sake, just for safety's sake, we stuff him in there. Because why not? It's right there. Not a big deal. And we then just head to the exit. Which is just right out here. So that's the first level done. Sign Assassin. Very nice. Alright, now we do the same thing again, except for their cameras. So... This escalation might get a little repetitive, but we're going through all the levels together. I could have just posted one or two run-throughs and that would have been it. But now let's just, just be complete and thorough. So we jump over here. We knock this guy out again. It's always fun to just do that. <laughs> and a good so here's two new cameras in that area. But we don't care about them. We're just going to delete the evidence. Huh. So we go up here. Go around here. Grab the knife. Put it away. Head back down. There's our target. Let's see if we can be a bit quicker this time. Yeah. Just as he's leaving. We just make sure no one's coming down. We get his disguise. We get our knife. We throw it. No one noticed. Sometimes they do, which is kind of annoying. And there's the hard drives. So it's almost the same as the last run, except we stop there at that door and shoot the hard drives. So there we go. Silent Assassin. Alright, now we've got a new target. We need a Yak crew disguise for it though. So let's get the guy. We skip the intro and there's our target, but we don't have the right disguise, so we just leave him. And once again, <laughs> shoot this guy in the leg. <laughs> Poor guy. All right, we put our gun away and just run through this area. Have a nice day. We just do the same thing again until the end, which uh, is the part where we do things a little differently. Might as well wait until this guy moves off then. There you go. Take his disguise. Just throw that in. Just hide him for good measure. Uh, we get our fire extinguisher. We run into this room. Here's the disguise we need. Just conveniently lying there for us. 
and uh, we keep our fire extinguisher with us. My camera's kind of messed up a little right now. Got that bug. Now we take out the hard drives. Now we got to take out that guy. We grab this crowbar lying right there, and we just open it. Now you got to be careful here. You want to place the fire extinguisher somewhere around here. You don't want to place it too close. Because the way the fire extinguisher works now, they instantly exert an area that knocks everything out within the area. You put two bullets into that thing and there you go. <laughs> you observe the panic. Uh, here you go. An assassin. Now, the way the fire extinguisher works... Alright, all security can see through the Yak security and crew disguise. That d doesn't really affect us at all. So let's just do it again. So the fire extinguisher, it instantly exerts an area that knocks people out. Which is unfortunate if it's too close to the target. Because it first knocks him out. And then the explosion um, triggers the car explosion. Which is lethal. And then it kills him. So for like a split second. Let me shoot this guy again. For a split second. Your target is knocked out. Then he is killed like the next frame. Which means it's body found. Which is kind of annoying. So you got to put the fire extinguisher far away. So it doesn't get him. Because you would you would think it's an expanding force from where you, the explosion occurred, but it's not. It's just an instantaneous circle around the a sphere around the fire extinguisher that knocks everything out. It's kind of annoying. At a certain radius, it will only knock people over. But uh, yeah, we're doing it all again. There's no changes really. And we're getting rather proficient at it. We just drag him over here a little, and uh, there you go. Let's get the disguise. And don't forget the fire extinguisher over here. All right. There you go. Cameras are dealt with. Crowbar. Open this. And let's blow the guy up again. So, place it around here. It, in line with this kind of like wooden fence. <laughs> there you go. All right, last level. And uh, again, we're not going to be affected by the new complication since we have to do it within five minutes. And uh, yeah, that's basically basically it. Um, I could have only shown the the second and third level because that's that covers all we need to do. But oh well, let's do it one more time. I mean, if I do it, if I do all the levels, you can see how consistent the strategy is. Hello. Ignore the cameras again. There's all sorts of timers going on. Grab this. Put it away. Knock him out. Take his disguise. Throw the knife at him. Look, see that? See that? For some reason he heard that. It's really annoying. It's very inconsistent, so uh, that hopefully will be patched or something. 
So now we've got this guy in the way. He's an enforcer, of course. Oh, I could have gone behind him and knocked him out. <laughs> we'll just wait. It's, it's kind of annoying that we have to do this. He's messing things up a little, so we just run around here. And, uh... Let's do that. Alright, we continue. I'm not sure how he heard that. He really shouldn't uh, pick up the crowbar. And that has been throughout Hitman 2. AIs that randomly, for some reason, hear things from a mile away. Um, things that they really should not hear. <laughs> so there he goes again. So that inconsistency is what is annoying some of the speedrunners that you see on, on YouTube and so on. <laughs> So they're choosing to play old games instead for, for a while until a patch comes along or something. But, <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too difficult. you just got to be uh, wary of that guy investigating the body once you throw the knife. But there's a locker right there, so you might as well make use of it. It's very convenient. Uh, it should help you get through that. Any such, uh, you know extra complications that are not part of the actual <laughs> escalation so uh, that's it hopefully that was of some use thanks for watching and see you next time